to the neighborhood kids. One day, a couple of kids get razor blades in their candy. Police come around. That's when I saw the true face of fear. Get on your knees. Hands, hands, hands. They beat him, tortured him, killed him right there on the spot. A couple weeks later, more razor blades and more candy. He'd been innocent. So he's real. Candyman ain't a he. Candyman's the whole damn hive. Tiana and Yaya, how are you both doing today? I'm well. Doing thank well, you. doing well. Thank you for asking. Uh, I have to say, I watched the original Candyman when I was maybe a touch too young and it kind of stayed with me forever. Was there any particular scary movie that either or both of you watched at a impressionable age that left kind of a lasting impression on you? Uh, Candyman. Candyman, I would say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. Candyman, for sure. Um, also as well, like co- coming from Ireland, we we have a lot of like folklore and our parents like passing down the spooky stories from like generations and stuff. And uh, coming from uh, New Orleans and South Carolina, I was wondering when you were growing up, were there any particular kind of spooky stories that friends or neighbors or family members would pass along for you too? My, my family definitely believed in believes in uh, spirits and uh, ancestral spirits and, you know, superstitions and things like that. So we definitely have a history and in, in dreams and, and the mm-hmm. importance of, of what happens in dreams. So my family, even to this day, is still very much uh, in touch with uh, in touch with the with with that with that side of town. For sure. We used to read Visions in the Clouds and all that stuff. Oh, like, that was it. Watch, look at the clouds. And yeah, interpret look at the wow. cloud, interpret clouds and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I think that's very prevalent in our community in, as a whole. Yeah. Um, I just don't, can't remember any specific yeah. stories being told to me. But there's one scene in particular in this that I think perfectly crystallizes the the higher IQ in this horror movie. And it's when <laughs> Brianna <laughs> Brianna looks down the spooky staircase and it's just like, no, and just closes no. the door and walks off. And I was like, yes, under normal circumstances, we'd go down the staircase and be like, don't. Uh, but was there a particular point, I guess, when you were reading the script or when you were being told a story, when, when you kind of felt you knew this was uh, a smarter horror than what we're usually given? Well, when I even heard that it was Jordan and Monkey Paw who were behind it, I've already come to, and I think most of us have come to expect that there's going to be some level of elevation to it Mm -hmm. and that it's going to include, it's not going to be a very surface movie. There's going to be a lot of themes and um, uh, concepts that are tackled within a singular story. So I had that expectation coming in. That's actually what really excited me about it. And then talking to Nia and her visual aesthetic and how smart she is, I knew that, um, you know, we were going to be really diving deep into some um, serious issues and um, themes in this movie. So Mm -hmm. that was before I even saw the script. (laughs) Yeah. And just looking forward for you both, like it's it's so exciting seeing your upcoming CVs. Like just listing here was like the Marvels, Ambulance, They Clone Tyrone, Aquaman Two, Furio. So like all of those films, as a movie lover, I'm so excited to see. Yeah. But uh, one in particular, and I guess because it's coming so soon, and we've heard so little about it, is The Matrix Four. And I'm wondering if you've seen any of it, and uh, even like, is there? Are you excited, I guess, for audiences to see maybe what you know? Uh, yeah, I'm very, very excited for that, uh, for that project. I forget about that project sometimes, <laughs> not because it's not amazing, right? It it's is amazing. It's a whole but, pandemic. But, but right? <laughs> there's a whole a lot. lot of history and movies yeah. and other things coming out. Yeah. Um, but I did get it's a little glimpse of something that's really cool. Uh, <laughs> I did get a, I, I heard I heard you. I got a glimpse of something that's really cool and uh yeah i can't i, I can't wait for everybody to see to see that thing that i saw all the matrixes is that right yes yeah, so i primed myself yeah for the i saw something store. i did see something that's 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 really cool and 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 it's 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 just cool I, that's as much as i can say that's all i need to hear just as long as it's cool <laughs> i'm happy to see it thank yeah. you so much for your time today thank right. you i think i made a mistake i brought him back hey man is it he told me he has a purpose for you. Tell everyone. 
new to the neighborhood. You should say it. Candyman. Say his name. 